10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top, allumage moteur Vulcain. Allumage des deux EAP et décollage VA255, S17 et Tiracus 4A. Well, the Ariane 5 launch has nominal. just successfully completed its liftoff, but the mission That's is not over yet, is nominal. it, David? Although no. equally important steps are still to come. These include the separation of the two satellites on board, Syracuse 4A and SES-17, which should reach their geostationary position in about 30 minutes. Is that correct, David? I'm so happy. Yes, that's right. That's right. David, you are also connected with Kuru via an earpiece where the CVI transmits all the information concerning the evolution of the emission. What is the CVI and, and how does it work? Yes, uh, I have a, a direct link with the CVI team, uh, a team located in Kuru who receives the real-time flight data sent by the launcher to the tracking stations. And uh, right now they confirm that all the parameters are, are as expected. These parameters include the altitude, the velocity, the engine parameters. So at 2 minutes, 19 seconds from liftoff, the CVI should announce, am I right, the separation of the boosters? Is that the first thing? Yes, How that's right. How important is this step for the mission, David? The trajectory is nominal. Yes, in a few seconds, the, the booster separation should take place. The uh, launcher will have gone through most through the most stressful part of the launch. Stressful. In, yes, in terms of mechanical loads, dynamic pressure, and the booster separation will be at around 65 kilometers and traveling at the speed of max 6.5. So it should come up in just a few seconds. So a few seconds, three seconds. Yep, we've seen it now. Yes, we have the confirmation Brilliant. of the separation, yes. Okay. So this stage is the first of many, and in a few seconds, Ariane will be at an altitude of 110 kilometers, and the DDO will then be announcing the separation of the fairing. What can you tell us about this particular stage, David? Yes, yeah, so at 110 kilometer altitude, the atmosphere has become really thin, only a few where particles remain. So at this point, the fairing, which is there to protect the satellites the from the atmosphere, the heat and the sound that lift off, and during the ascent is no longer needed, so it is jettisoned to, to save weight. So this again should uh, happen in just about 10 seconds. This is an important moment as well. Well, every stage is important, every phase. We're just waiting now. A couple of seconds for the separation of the fairing. The there Separation de la coiffe. We yes. just have seen it. We've seen it on the screen. And so we have the confirmation from confirmation. the video Brilliant. as well. So by separating from its fairing, Ariane 5 Watt will now be approximately two tons lighter, which is a significant weight in flight. La trajectoire est nominale. SES-17, one of the two satellites launched tonight, had a launch mass of more than six tons, and it is one of the ten heaviest telecommunication satellites launched by Ariane Espace since its creation. Am I correct, David? Yes, that's right, yes. So at this stage of the launch, we have a launcher that weighs what and is traveling at what speed? Look, we can see it up on the screen, I think. Can you tell us? Well, in terms of mass, the launcher was about 780 tons of liftoff. Right now, we have only about 149 tons left. And the speed, as you can see, yes, it's about 2.7 kilometers per second. Uh, which is about a third of what we need to reach. At the end of the flight, we will be about 9.3 kilometers per second. 